Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 9th to the 15th of March 2020. I hope you're well Taurus. So I'm just pulling you an overarching guidance card to see what the message is for you. What do we have for Taurus please, Angel Spirits Guides for the week? What is the guidance message for Taurus? Okay. Surrender. This is just about surrendering to the flow of life, letting things just flow forward, also flow over you. There is a trust in divine um, orchestration, timing as well with this card. Trusting the universe, beautiful energy. Let things unfold in their natural time. Okay, Angel Spirits Guide, what is the energy of the week for Taurus? This is associated with attachment. I'm going to pull another card before I read this out to you. And what's the card to go with attachment, please? Thank you. The world, yeah, this kind of makes sense. I'll read it out to you briefly for both. So, attachment first. Perceived need in the choice to let go. This card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to all patterns or people from the past. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be emotional patterns or even relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to old and healthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the change that binds you could be of your own making. This card tells you that it's time to take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Okay, so this is definitely about surrendering allowing yourself to, to move on from whatever this was. And the world is beautiful because that is opening up to the new. Yeah, expansion. So we have the world expansion opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful, beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. This card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster tour Taurus. So I'm certainly feeling that this is about opening your mind to new possibilities and overcoming past attachments, old patterns, old ways of thinking, um, old chains from the past, but surrendering to allow yourself to be carried forward. That wonderful expansive energy. It's beautiful, Taurus. <clears throat> Angels, what is the message for Taurus, please, for the week? Message for Taurus. Yeah, new beginnings. Something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities. Yeah, and I feel that's absolutely what the world is asking you to do now. Surrender the old and just allow yourself to be carried forward. Lovely. Okay, so I am using the Tarot of Dreams today and I'm gonna clarify with the Legacy Tarot. Both of these are by Marchetti. You know how I like my Marchetti by now, Taurus. <laughs> so, I pull five cards. The first card is the past position. Then we pull the present. Your challenge, advice from spirit and outcome. Okay. Oh, wow. Past position is the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus. Very nice. And that is that expansive energy of Jupiter. So you can just really see things are beginning to open up for you if you surrender. 
Send it from the old. Okay. Your present. Seven of Cups. Your challenge. Card of Libra. Justice. The Strength card. Card of Leo. Is the advice from Spirit. And we have the Four of Cups. Moon in Cancer. Okay. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table, please, for Taurus? 9th to the 15th of March, 2020, please, Angel Spirits Guides. King of Swords. The Seven of Cups, Taurus, is clarified by the Five of Coins. I'm going to pull one more for that one. King of Cups. The Justice card. It's clarified by the King of Wands. Three Kings. I mean, the Kings are achievers. So in your reading, there is a real level of achievement here to be had for you. The Strength card, advice from Spirit. We have the devil and the four of cups. We have the ten of wands. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the ace of swords. Beautiful. There's that new beginning. Wheel of Fortune is a new beginning as well, in a way. Okay. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords. This is a card of Aquarius. Like I said, three kings in your reading. There is a real sense of achievement that can be had. Um, either this week or certainly starting this week. Um, this is about the world opening up for you. So that could link with opportunity in particular. Um, advancing yourself in some way. Bringing growth into your life. All of this kind of thing. Because that's what the Wheel of Fortune does. It is that Jupiterian energy that promises expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune, prosperity. It's very good in terms of business and career in particular. Um, but this is a big shift. You know, when the wheel turns in your favour, there is a big positive shift. Can be where obstacles are removed and there's just a level of plain sailing for a while. And you're being told to make the best use of this energy while the wheel turns in your favour. It is divine orchestration, divine timing that's linked with destiny. And the destiny is very much about the path that we need to be on. Um, just being in the right flow of life and you're being told to surrender because there is divine timing around you. You're being guided on this journey. The King of Swords, a card of Aquarius, is somebody who sees the big picture and gets direction, understand the decisions, choices and the path that they need to take. He is the real strategist, uh, the planner, the person who has a big game plan now. And for some of you, certainly in terms of advancing yourself, um, could be in terms of areas, money and career in particular, Taurus. This is a really good thing. This is about having a plan to bring real expansion into your life and growth, certainly in terms of money, career, prosperity. Allowing things to just open up for you and understanding how to make the best use of that. This is the power of the mind. Um, really understanding how to apply yourself, switch your mind on to make use of this. So I love the way that these two go together. There's a real vision, a real direction when the King of Swords appears. We have the Five of Coins and the King of Cups. King of Cups is a Scorpio. So obviously Aquarius, Scorpio, King of Wands is Leo. There's two Leo cards. Uh, we have a card of Libra as well. So those could be people in your life of influence. The King of Cups card of Scorpio is somebody who masters their emotions. 
and that's how they bring success into their external world by being rock solid from within this is somebody who understands how to be in command of their inner world their inner emotions and feelings in order to open up to real opportunity and it is what you're being asked to do as an energy with this the five of coins because the five of coins can be where we feel lack some of you Taurus may have struggled in terms of money finances career you may have come across some hard times that's sometimes what this card can mean um, and this is about finding that emotional center from within in order to rise above this situation and I certainly feel for some of you in order to see the bigger picture to have a bigger game plan rather than just looking at the immediate problem in the face you know not seeing past that um, this is when you just see lack you vocalize lack that's what you get back from the universe the pentacles energy for me as a reader is our conscious reality therefore it is linked to the law of attraction uh, what we put out to the universe is what we get back so this is almost kind of like rising above situations emotional situations getting clarity of the mind in order to bring achievement into your life in order to bring growth expansion and I feel this is the old attachment that you need to release from now because I feel it's clouding your judgment in terms of choosing new paths that are open to you now full of fulfilling energy I mean this is like our hopes dreams and wishes um, hanging out there in the ether and for some of you it is about mastering your inner world in order to be open to new paths opening up for you now I really feel that there is some opportunity I mean sometimes the king of cups king of swords that could be communication you know king of wands king of cups king of swords there could be some opportunity or person coming into your life that is linked to your hopes dreams and wishes new hopes dreams and wishes so it's almost kind of like saying there are there are better things ahead for you you have to have that big game plan now see the bigger picture see beyond the negative challenge that you face you know when justice appears i mean this can be about this can be about achieving balance I mean it is a card of Libra you know that could uh, that could apply as well to that five of Pentacles energy finding balance in your life now but some of you may have had dealings with the law um, the justice system even I mean the King of Swords the card of Libra they can be to do with the law contracts to do with the law and um, disputes to do with the law uh, where you needed an arbiter to come in and um, obviously it could be to do with separation divorce division of assets and relationships could be to do with um, business disputes as well disputes at work if you're waiting on a decision this is saying that there will be a just and fair decision in the light of truth that will restore balance in your life so I certainly feel for some of you that your challenge is to now re-establish the equilibrium in your life in order to move forward and release from old attachments that don't serve you anymore King of Wands again is another card of achievement card of Leo this is somebody who is taking the lead in their own life it might be after you've been through a period of justice it might well be some of you are just trying to get balance back in your life now and this is about taking the lead in your own life to focus on your path your passions and um, understanding that you have the potential to bring achievement into your life now it might well be like I said there is somebody who is communicating to you with an opportunity it could be emotionally connected it could be to do with your passions your desires could be in business could be in love but it is absolutely to do with your hopes dreams wishes and you're being told here to trust your intuition to make clear choices now in your life because you are being guided and that's how the universe guides us through our intuition
you know and that's that's why you know the king of cups water energy water and air you know we have the seven of cups here watery energy again it is about using your intuition in order to make life choices now choosing your path making one of these may become true for you I certainly feel for some of you this week there will be a shift in terms of a power dynamic for you where you may have felt powerless in the past where you may have felt that you didn't have control of your life absolutely the king of wands is saying now is the time to take take the lead and um, take your power back be in your power uh, because the strength card is about being in your power finding the strength the courage from within to face our fears our doubts our even adversity in your external world and overcome the challenge that you may face the devil is a card of instability it can be a card of unhealthy relationships now that could be in the workplace that can also be in actual love relationships whatever this is taurus for some of you this is about breaking free of old karmic cycles that don't serve you anymore you know the devil is that kind of energy that sometimes we need to break free of sometimes we need to find our own power this is where we can give power to a person a situation that could be a boss you know at work somebody who you feel pulls your strings uh, you feel powerless with this could also be in relationships as well where you feel powerless to do anything about it this is where there's a power shift because this is you feeling powerless and moving towards being in your power and we know that this is your challenge uh, there is an element here with the king of wands of regaining your power this is somebody in their power they are aligned to that one's energy, the, the, the actual symbol of their suit. So they master the symbol of the suit. In this case, it's the ones, which is very much about their passions. They understand their potential and their power and how to use it to bring achievement into their life. So there is an absolute power shift where obstacle or a challenge or a situation you might not have knew, knew how to deal with could have been how you dealt with an, uh, something to do with instability so um, the five of pentacles the devil card could be in business or money or um, to do with what the pentacles represents our money our career our home our property our foundational relationships all of this kind of thing Whatever this devil energy was, I feel for some of you there is an absolute power shift this month where you are taking control of the situation um, and breaking free of the illusion of which is the devil because really nobody can take our power, we give our power away. Taurus, you know, we've had this... Um, <laughs> It's funny when I look at these cards because you're getting the Ten of Wands and you've had this for, I think it's a few weeks now, on and off. So the Ten of Wands is a completion. It is also when you're carrying burdens that you don't need to carry anymore because, you know, what is the attachment that you need to surrender, release from in order to bring new beginnings in? Because this is a message that the world is opening up for you. Divine timing is at play. The Wheel of Fortune. This is the divine nudge saying there are greater things ahead. So don't be closed off to new opportunities, new connections, new people coming into your life now that will bring you greater happiness and fulfillment. But in order to embrace this, this divine nudge, this opportunity, you have to be open up to it emotionally. That's why the King of Cups is saying now is the time to master your emotions from within. That is why the King of Swords will be about mastering your mind, how you perceive things in order to see that way forward in order to be open to new opportunities because this is again making space for the new there is absolutely something going on in the last few weeks for some of you about making space for the new there is something that has the real potential to come into your life great expansion is here opportunity but while you have crossed arms, crossed legs, or while this person has crossed arms, crossed legs, they can't receive it. 
they're switched off, they're emotionally drained, they're emotionally switched off, either bored, um, not doing anything about their situation, feeling burdened, emotionally drained, tired, all of this kind of energy. And it is stopping you from having the breakthrough that is waiting for you for a new beginning and for real expansion, growth, prosperity, good luck, good fortune. I feel for some of you there is a breakthrough at hand. But there is a, a level of, I mean, you know, you have a lot of kings here. And I do feel that there is a power shift that's needed here. Taking back control, taking back your power, being in your power, connecting to your own strength to bring positive change in a situation because there is a shift available to you now that leads to a new beginning. And this is hard one. But you see the... It's kind of like an eagle, is that? It is an eagle, isn't it? <laughs> Generally, the Ace of Swords is linked with an eagle because it's God, the divine, the universe that's giving you this opportunity, guiding you forward, asking you to see the bigger picture, the higher perspective, to see the way forward. I also feel for some of you, see the silver lining here, Taurus? The clouds are being lit by the rays that are coming from the image. And I just feel that there is a silver lining at the end of this when you do take action. I feel this is very good in terms of, certainly with the Wheel of Fortune, I would say business and career, because that does link to our money aspect, our fortune in particular. It is that wonderful expansive energy so now is the time to understand that you have the abilities to achieve. There could be somebody in your life that embodies these three kings as well. Offering you an opportunity, giving you counsel, uh, having a conversation with you or coming into your life in some way. And you can't open up to it when you don't have the space. So I certainly feel for some of you, this is about releasing old attachments, old baggage in order to embrace the new. Powerful. What is the final message for Taurus, please? Final message for Taurus. We have sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Yeah. I just think there's a real surrender because, yeah, it's time to allow the new um, opportunity into your life now. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Taurus, and I will see you next time. Thank you.